everybody welcome back welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbooking needs and more today we're going to um, work on this um, altered file folder and this is the type of project that I really cannot give you measurements um, it's one of those you just kind of have to mark with your pencil cut where you want and do it that way so you're not going to hear me say, oh, that you need a eight by whatever, or, you know, it's all by eye and what you like. Now I'm using two file folders and what my point, my goal is, is to have this be able to open like this and then have this one glued to this one so that this one opens like this. So I have some space to work and then I plan on putting a, a big pocket across here and then maybe uh, a, a flip over here we'll see how we do and then maybe a flip on this side here and then maybe a long pocket on the back so that's the the idea of what we're going to do now whether or not it's going to come out exactly like that I don't know but we're going to try so I'm going to, the first page I'm going to use out of this collection is this one. And the reason why is I have the cut aparts already from the card thing. So I'm going to use this for the cover. Now, again, here's where my little pencil marks are going to come in. So I'm going to cut it there. And then... This is like a weird, let's see if I could put it behind here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind here where I would like it to be. Hmm. What's that getting stuck on? All right, let me make my line there so I know where I'm cutting. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace along this knowing that I'm going to have to cut it smaller. But I'm still going to trace around it. And then I will cut it smaller to fit. So let's get the paper trimmer out. We're going to cut this there, and then whoop, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm actually going to cut along the inside of that line just a little bit. I'm not cutting off too much yet. guys so many people make these so there's like so much uh so much information on the internet on youtube so yeah that has to be cut down a little bit more i see so hold on and again this is what i mean by the trial and error I think I need to cut a little sliver off the bottom too. But first let me try to get this better. That made it kind of worse to be honest. Uh, well, let's cut a little bit off the bottom and then see where we're at. I can always cover it with something. I can make another tab, so I'm not really, I'm not really worried about it. I still want a little bit more off the side because I, I want some of the folder to show 
So this is what I mean about there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it. Okay, well I think that's good. I would have liked that to have been a little bit better there, but you know what? I'm not going to sweat it, and I may put a word up here to detract from that. Now I want to put right, first of all, I want to look at this piece of paper because I thought it'd be really cute to do these Christmas scene, this Christmas scene going across the bottom so first of all let's see if it's going to fit before i even commit to it yeah i have to take a little bit off of each side mm, i have to take a lot off unless i use the bottom one because the bottom one i could take a lot off yeah i think i'm going to fussy cut this bottom one so I'm going to take another file folder. This has that middle tab. And I want to see. Let me cut this. And I'm probably going to use magnets for this project too. dark but I still would like to get this done so I'm gonna craft until I feel like we can't see at all and then we'll stop um, okay and then this little edge here comes off okay so there's our row of houses, which will go nicely across this. That's great, except I didn't cut, cut that off. I didn't cut that even, so let me fix that. There we go. So I know that I want this, and maybe I want it to... I might want it to to look like this cut out but I know that I'm gonna need some room all right let's first cut this in half the file folder itself I can't see file folder in half. Oh, wow. I just want to cut. That's weird. I didn't want to cut that. Hmm. This is a new blade too. I shouldn't have this much problems. Okay. And then I'm going to score at a half an inch on the bottom because I want this to flip up. Make it easy on me. Squaring at a half an inch. Okay. So that's going to allow this to flip. And then I'm going to put glue this on. And I'm going to cut around because I want it to 
That's how I want it to look. All right. So, um, let's say the art glitter glue again. You notice I didn't glue the other one down yet because <clears throat> I have to get this flip in there first. So, I'm bringing this to the very bottom where it's going to flip. Glue dries too fast sometimes. No, I didn't bring it down enough. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. I can. I just crease this really good with my bone folder so that I could really see where I'm laying this down. And let's try it again. And you see how fast this glue dries. It's crazy how fast it dries. So I'm going to get that down faster. Is that better? Yes. That's better. Okay, now I want to cut this whole thing out. I'm wondering if I want to just cut straight. I think I'm going to cut straight across. I'm not going to worry about those circles because it's going to make it easier when we do the reverse side. And this side has a little bit of... that better I like that better without those things all right so there's my folder this is gonna go like this this is gonna go on the bottom you leaving baby it's gonna go on the bottom this is gonna go here oh, wrong folder no. It's this folder. And this is going to flip down. And then we'll have something covering this. So let's look at what we have. This is too small. Um, this one so let's see let's mark this with a pencil and here and then here no maybe there okay I'm just trying to get all the pieces cut out for this section so that we're not measuring it when it's on, you know what I mean? Because sometimes measuring it when it's on is, is a lot harder. 
Um, okay. And let's see. Good. All right. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going on here. Is that. Trying to figure out all the, the moving parts to this. And then I think. I'd like maybe a little pocket. Like this. This goes like this. I'm just imagining it now. And then maybe I want to use this as a little pocket and just cut it here and cut it here. You leaving, baby? Yeah. Okay. Love you. Love you. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, so I think that would look cute. Where's my line? My line is there. And then my other line is here. Right below the writing. Actually, I'll make it. Right below the writing. Okay. So that's going to be a pocket that's going to go there. And then, are these taller than this? No. I could do. Let me see in my so I could put this I might have to make this pocket a tiny bit smaller because I want to be able to put cards in it. So I'm going to cut it towards the end of the typewriter. Okay. Here we go. That way those fit. All right. Now we have to think of magnets. I guess we'll put two magnets here and then they'll get on over there as well. So where did my magnets go? Are they magnetized to something? Yes, they are. Ooh. Come back. They're magnetized to my stapler. <laughs> All right. So where's my little score tape for this? One here. Put one there. One there. Then we're going to take our score tape and put it there on our flap here. Make 
sure I have the right folder, which I'm glad I looked because I don't. Or do I? Is this the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this to the bottom, stick this to the bottom of this file folder. Tarnish it down really good. Use my bone folder for that. And then on the reverse side, I'm going to find out where those magnets are. One. Two. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some tape on them. Okay. All right. So now we have that. And that opens. And now we have this sheet, which is going to go here. So let's glue this down. And you could use tape if you wanted to. I like the art glare glue. I forgot to take my tape off though. So I'm going to grab that fast. Quick, quick. Okay. And then this is going to go nicely right here. Nice. And then this piece is going to go here. We already determined that. And I'm going to put it where I want it to be and then I'll probably have to trim stuff off or I don't know. Oh, we said we're going to put a word up there so it's not going to matter. All right, so that's how that's going to go. So now let's do this. down here, right where I think it should be, float it up more, okay, and then we want to put our pocket right here, which kind of blends in with everything, but that's okay. Now, I'm not scoring anything on this pocket, I'm just literally putting glue on three sides of it. This pocket right here. And then this card is going to go in here. And this card is going to go, well, maybe just one card is going to go in there. I'll probably put another one in there. A little one. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Didn't look like it was glued down enough, but it is. It is. Okay, so that's what we got so far. That looks cute. Now, I'm probably going to put some of that braided trim that I have on some areas of this, just because I think it's, it's going to need it. So... I'll be whipping that out, but probably not until the very end. Um, maybe I'm ready for Christmas. So now I'm mixing and matching because this is Time of Wonders, but I still have some of their words left, so I'm going to use it for the, for this project. So don't be afraid to mix and match things as well. All right. Okay. And 
push those down a little bit so I can get mine. And then this gets rid of the whole worry about my little blemish there. All right, so now we have that, that, that. Now we open it. And now we have to put something here. I love this little girl. This is the, well, you know what, I could do a little, I could do a little mix and match here. Let me see. If I move this over the very top. Let's see how this would look. I'm just saying something. So I'm just outlining that. I want to see if I can utilize this piece. Realize the scrap. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to trim this. Because I'm really using it just to cover the tab part. And trim that. And this is going to go here. Very nice. That worked out good. And then I want to put her down here. And I want as much of her as possible. So I want her like that. So I'm going to put a pencil mark like right here to cut it. And then where do we end up here? Maybe a mark right there. Okay. But you see how this these come together. They're a lot of fun. It's just there's no exact measuring. That's the only thing about it that I don't like. All right, let's see what we got now. And I know the desk is cluttered here, but yeah, okay. So let's first glue this piece on. We're just building along as we go. And look embellish or try to embellish as much as we go but it's not going to be like overkill initially because we want to get our paper down now let's not forget to take this off this time there's one get that there's two and let's get this little girl going her going up here so it's kind of like a little bit like a two-tone Mess. 
going on. Now what we could do, if we wanted to, is we could put him here and then there's like a journaling section. I like that. But I'm going to use tape for that. I'm going to use my score tape. I might just do it four corners and then maybe one strip in the middle. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. And then I'll just put one in the middle. All right. I don't know where my pokey tool is. Oh, here it is. <laughs> put him right over here. Sweet. So now he can open and you can journal. All right. So, so far we have this. We have a pocket. We have this that shuts. And now we have this. Okay. So now I'm going to do the back. I do love this. So we may, I may use this and do it like two-tone because this is the top of this paper and I like it. So I might want to make it so that that part is on the bottom there. Let's see what we think. Let's see what we think. Yeah, I do like that. Then we need something to go above it. And this kind of goes along with it. But do I want something different? cut apart sheet I'm saving because I want to use cut aparts from that so we're not going to even we're not even going to look at that piece we haven't used hmm. let's see I'm just looking to see what we have for the scraps oh, that's too small Let's cut apart. It would have to drop down because I'd want to be able to see those reindeer. I think what I'm going to do is cut this straight and then put maybe an extra piece up here and a word. So I think I'm going to leave that as is, guys. And I might make this a whole long pocket. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, where did I mark that? I know I marked it. Okay. 
Let me mark it because I can't see where I marked it. <laughs> do it up here. I can see better. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it into a whole pocket. Okay. And then, let me see. Because I know I don't need this whole piece. So I can cut it like here. Just to conserve some paper. Because we might want to use it for something. So let's do that. There we go. And we have this, which I might use to make my little thing up there. Let's add this first to the top. Whoa, my desk is getting messy. see what that is that's the glue from the paper pad all right so this I'm only going to glue on three sides because we want it to be a pocket There we go. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Now, see, we have this. I can't use that, but I have this long strip here. Wonder if I can put that there. Yeah. I'm going to use that for the top there, but let's see. I have. Some more cut aparts. Let me cut some of these apart here. I love this Santa. This Santa is like what I picture Santa looking like. <laughs> the real Santa. And we're just cutting some stuff apart here. I'm saving all my little scraps. They're all over my desk. I'm saving all of them because you never know. You never know when we need them. All right. So here's a card here. There's a card here. And then maybe put Santa there. I just like him separate. I don't want to use him as a card. Okay. Let me put him right here. That. Let me see here. Another card in there. Oh, I can't see 
있을까요? 아, 이제 가는 거 around the gold. Hard to say. Cuz the, the the paper is muted in a lot of places. I need a bigger desk, guys. I don't know how I did it on that little tiny mat all those years. I really don't. I, I guess because the projects weren't as big. I don't know. But now I do it and I'm like, oh my gosh. How did I do it? So I was thinking of putting this here with a with a tag with a word not a tag a word but that might look cute or maybe not maybe i'll save it for something yeah maybe not i don't think so all right so let's because this would look so cute that I believe in Santa kind of goes with everything the believe the I might have to use it guys might have to wasn't gonna but now I'm like mm. and remember I'm adding the double sided tape to these chipboard pieces because they are very thick. I believe in Santa. Cute. And this might not have to go here. Actually, we could put it on the top there. Okay. Top center. Oh, uh, then I'm going to get the reindeer. Maybe I'll put it here. Yeah. I don't want to crush my reindeer. All right, now I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this this way. So I could put this strip on and then we'll figure this piece out. But I have to move, I have to move it here guys because I can't. I can't see straight. I can't reach that high up. All right. Whoa. Don't do that. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to cut the edge off or I'll cut it over there. That was not smart, Michelle. Okay, maybe I have a word that can go there too, a longer word. From our home to yours. Yeah, I like that, but 
I still think it needs a little it needs a little something. And I'm just tracing. Yeah, I probably should have waited to glue this strip. I'm seeing if I could gently pull it up without too much damage. It's a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to glue it right back down. Right. I'm going to glue this in place and then I'll glue the strip back down. Do the strip some more glue for the strip, and then that. This is not a fast project, as you can see. <laughs> it's not fast, but it's very rewarding when it's all done. All right, I'm going to hold this up this way, guys, in order for me to place this for more home to yours. Okay. So we got that, we got that, we got that. I might want to put, let me see. These are cute little, I just feel like this is, it needs something probably because it's so dark here. I mean, so light, I feel like it needs some something dark. Let me see. I want to just having a think. I made a little side, yeah, like a little side pocket here. To kind of just break up all of this. And see, this is how these things evolve. You're like, oh, yeah, let me add this. Oh, okay, let me add this. It's it's a process. And as you go, you're like, oh, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. That looks good. No, maybe I don't want that, you know. So so that's how it goes. 
but it's fun. Right. So if I put this here, now I have a little side pocket. Yeah, I like that. And we have added a little color. And then we could put something in the side pocket. girl that I love she now she takes over the typewriter so forget that I don't want to use that because we have the typewriter there let's see what else we have we still have some I wanted to use as a belly band but don't forget we have the six by six too so I can use a six by six pad if I need some cut aparts we'll see we'll see and we have these tags that are from the paper collection and we have these if we wanted to use those I'll put those to the side and just see what I'm working with what I have left what I'm working with here this little row of houses would be cute on another page maybe as a pocket but not for right now mm -hmm. We have these pages left. This one. This is going to go on a full page. So is probably that side. And he's going to go on a full page. So we'll have to worry about that towards the end because I don't really know what to stick in there at this moment in time. <laughs> so we'll wait. We will wait. Not a problem. I mean, this little Santa postcard is cute. Let's say Santa Claus Post Office. Yeah. I'll use that. Okay, and we have our two things here. Okay, so, so far, I am going to put a trim up here. And I might even put one up here. We'll see. And then we open this, and we have a flip. A little flip here. We have a pocket here. Put that glue down. And then the I Believe in Santa. All right, so now we want to glue these two together. Now, as you can see, when I glue this, it's not going to match up perfectly down here. It's okay because we're going to cover it. But I'm, I'm just making you aware of it so that in case you like look at it and you're like, wait a second, that doesn't that doesn't match up. It's not going to. And what I think I'm going to use for this is um, I'm going to use. Is this how it's going like that? I am going to use some score tape. And I also am going to add glue. Ooh, score tape's ripping that up. Um, but I think the score tape will hold it nice. So we'll do 
do the score tape. And then we'll add some glue. All right, let me take my score tape off. Now, I will tell you that this project, you can't, you're not going to be making 5 million projects with this uh, one paper pad for Stamperia. Um, but to do a project like this is perfect. This tape got all messed up up here. Because it started pulling the paper away. I'll just add some glue. There we go. And then let me add glue right here. You can use fabric tack too. That would that would work really good. Fabri tack. I would say fabric tack. Okay. All right, so this one is going to go on top of this one. I got to arrange it, guys, the way I can see. It. Ooh, the way I can see it. There we go. All right. that that we open this and now we have this and this okay good deal good deal i like it all right so now let's figure out i'm gonna fill some tape there just smoothing it out now let's figure out what we want here do we want santa Problem with the Santa is we're going to lose, we might be better off with Santa up here. Yeah, because I'll cut it in a way that we don't lose that Merry Christmas. So, um, I really love this page. Maybe Santa might go on the back. I really like this. I want that on the top. Yeah, I want that on the top. And I want this one down here. So... Just thinking how we're going to do it. So, oh my gosh, guys, this is so huge. <laughs> uh, let me start off by tracing around this. And then we'll see. where it goes from there so does that have the wrong right the wrong way now okay all right there's my pencil mark Mm -hmm. 
scissors. Wow, I can barely see my pencil mark there. Let's see if I can hold it under the light. All right, let's save that little scrap there for a second. And now, that's great. That's just great. Okay. All right. Let me just fix this glue a little bit so it. comes out faster. Much better. It was starting to not come out too good, so still kind of still feels stuck in there, and I don't know why. Let me do this with the pin again and see if I can get this going better. Let's see. I could be running out of glue. All right. This is not working out right. Let's switch. Let's try the Yoohoo. I like how it rolls on. I will say that. And I'm going over the art glitter glue because I don't know what's wrong with it. And I don't want any drama. So there. Let me just get a little more here. I kind of use this. So let's try it out. Nice. I like that. I really like that. I don't know what's wrong with this. Let me get my let my pin go for it. I think I just need to give it a little. There's glue in there. That's what I don't understand. Maybe I need to add more glue to it. Um. Okay, so oh, this is so pretty, isn't it? All right, now what I was thinking for this page was doing the belly band, but this belly band, the problem is it's the same. See what I'm saying? It's like the same. I wonder if I could unstick this. I wonder if it gives me a little bit of time because I just had an idea. Gosh, this is the problem, guys. The struggle is real. But I just had a cute idea. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's see. thinking of making this like a little flip on the side. Like over here. 
and then it would flip open. Okay, I do like that idea. And I'm probably going to have to add some score tape to the edge of this paper because I just pulled it all up. So I won't blame the Yoohoo because it was holding it down nicely until I decided to pull it up. <laughs> until I decided to ruin my project. No. And all right okay all right let's take this off and take this off and this off And I want to kind of get that sort of in the middle and lay it all down. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And then maybe. Do we want a pocket over here? I'm big on the pockets, if you hadn't noticed. I have this piece left with the bird on it. Yeah, see, this is too matchy match. This is even a little too matchy match. Let's, we'll have a think about that because I don't know if I like that or not. Um, this isn't, hmm. I wonder if we do this and this, that's cutting it close. Let me see, let me see where my scissors go. Kind of close, guys. But doing like this and this. Oh, I like that. Like that. And then the pockets here. Okay. Oh, I love that. All right. Let's try it. Let's try this glue again. See what see what's happening. Not much better. It just needed that pin stuck in it, I guess, for a while. There we go. And I'm just going to glue three sides of this. Sides. We can make a little pocket here. Cute. And I bet my little girl will fit in that pocket. Let's see. Where'd she go? Where did she go? Hmm. I'm trying not to touch the six by six pad so that I can use it for something else. Oh yeah. Oh look at look at how cute. Oh my gosh. And we have these little cutouts. So I'm gonna cut these out now too. This is coming together really sweet. Maybe just put one in. Oh, I could put a word. Oh. It's going to be December magic because that's the one that just went flying off. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm really loving it. Maybe 
go with this again, guys. Sorry. December magic. Put that there. Okay. Oh, that looks sweet. That looks really, really sweet. I love it. I do. It's so cute. That's adorable. I love it. I do. It's so cute. This is coming out really cute, guys. Look at all the layers. I love it. All right, so we have this. We're not going to do anything on this. We have a side pocket, another pocket. Then we have a flip, a pocket. Then we have a little flip and another pocket. So now we're going to do this guy. I'm going to trace him out. And I'm trying not to lose much of the little clock and everything so I'm, I'm just trying to make it even with everything oh my gosh if may is watching this she's probably like oh my lord what a mess she has on her desk <laughs> may she has her duster she has her wipes she's got it all me no nothing me nothing me, I'm lucky. I'm lucky I have it. I have. I couldn't find anything. sure it doesn't go on the I don't want it to interfere with the score and it doesn't it's gonna go there now I feel like I want something maybe hmm Not this Let's look at the papers we have left. Because I'm feeling like I want this to do a little something. Let's see. So we have these little scraps left. These little scraps are too small to do anything. I'm going to put my pin back in here. And let me get rid of some of my garbage so that we can see what we're doing. So, I'm going to get my garbage can. And we'll see. Wow, we're over an hour already, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Because <laughs> I'm not sorry. This is... This is too much fun to be sorry about. So, here we go. All right, so here's all our little bits. And then we have this one big page. And we have this. And we also have our... parts now another thing that we could do 
is you could always use this as something. So if, like I said, I'm going to waste this piece of paper, I could use this part for the, the reverse side and then maybe, let me show you what I mean. If I didn't want to use these tags that are on here, I could, it down. I could I could cut that apart and then I would still need still need a pretty big piece. If I didn't want to use these houses, I could put that. You see what I'm saying? Of course it wouldn't say Stamperia there, but I could make that into a pocket and maybe that's what we're gonna do on the back. I think that's what we're going to do on the back because I don't need those tabs. In fact, let's do the back. Let me still have a think about this other page. So let's do the back, guys. Here we go again. Changing our minds. But I do like this cover sheet. So let's see. Let's just see. I may cut it and then be like, oh, why did I cut that? And I don't like it, but I think I will. I think I will because I think I'll make it into a pocket. Okay. There's that. See how much we need. Oh, we first have to trim this too. Forgot about that part. Let's put a little mark. Put a little mark. Of this piece do we need because right, this is going to go here wow well, i cut that wonky i'm gonna figure out a way to center it best that we can it's not a problem okay and then this Is gonna come here. You can see that's way off. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I got that way off. I 
I may how tall is this? I may have to rig this a little because for some reason I cut that way off. So you'll see what I'm going to do. Cut a strip there. And I'm going to cut a strip here. And you'll see what I'm going to do. All right, so let's glue this in place. Because we know this is good. We know this is good to go. Well, that's good. And then I'll show you how I'm going to... Oh, here we go again. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix the problem. So if you run into that problem where you cut it to... What is happening? This is really a problem today. I don't understand what is wrong with it. There's nothing jamming it. I don't know. to use the yoohoo again. I don't know what the problem is with this. I might just put the yoohoo on this side. I like this because you can see it. I mean, you probably can't see it on the video, but it leaves like a little glossy sheen. All right, let's get this going. This guy, get this baby on. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna fix my mistake. Now, I didn't you who all the way down, so I'm going to come down here and do it. I didn't know how far down I had to go, so there. All right, so what I'm going to do is because I messed up on my pocket page really badly, and I don't know how, how I did that, I'm just going to take these two strips that I know are the width of the, they're the, the height of this, and I'm going to put one on each side. And then it's going to look like I planned it this way, which I didn't, as we all know, I made a mistake. But this is why these little straps, straps these little strips come in handy when you make a mistake and see now when I put this on you can you can't tell that I made a mistake it just looks like I layered the paper there And I think I'm going to use the, for the pocket score tape. I don't know how, I haven't used this yoo-hoo enough, ooh-hoo, yoo-hoo enough to know if it's going to be okay for, to hold a pocket. So that's the only reason why I'm not using it for the pocket.
we go. There we go. Very nice. Maybe we can put a word here since we have some words. Let's me under the mistletoe. I like that. And I'm going to add some tape. And you see, this tape is, is lasting a long time. I mean, we've done quite a few projects. I used up quite a bit of the tape, and I still have a lot left on that roll. So you do get your money's worth for that tape. And don't forget to use Michelle, the two L's, DT, for 15% off of your order. Hooray, hooray. I still can't believe she's doing that, but yay for us. Now, let's see. I can fussy cut this guy out, this tag out. There's that one. I'm just cutting the ones that remain. There's this one. So you can see we're really utilizing everything. <laughs> we're even using the, the front cover. We're using it all. So one pad of this paper, just so you know for future, one pad for this romantic Christmas will get you one advent calendar, which is already in there, which we already made and one altered file folder so good deal really good deal because these are big projects So those, those we can add to places if we would like. In fact, we can probably add some. Let me put the belief one in there. There we go. Oh, see they're falling because they're kind of small. Hmm. That one we can save there. Let me just stick these in like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Just so that they all have a home. All right, so now this last page... I was thinking, what do I want to do? Do I want to flip? Do I want... Let me cut this paper out. So this is how that's going to go. Hmm. Do I want 
aside. A little side flip over there might look cute. Let me see, let me measure. I'm doing this before we glue this time. Smart, smart girl. See, I learned from my mistake there. Uh, all right, so I want it to be here. This is where I want it to start. And I want it to cover that. Cover that. So I want it to end here. But then I need a quarter inch or so. So let's see. Let me cut this out. Where's my marks? There's the one. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, what happened to it? I just, just did it. Um, I'm giving myself extra room because I want to, you know, make my flip. And then, let's do this. Aw, he's so cute. And then, let me just make sure it lines up. So I need it to line up and then I'm going to score. Oh, do you believe I need a big, bigger scoreboard? I'm not getting it out right now. I'm just not doing it guys. I'll flip this over. I want to score a half an inch. here and we score the rest and it should line up yeah. amazing yeah, that's right. Okay. So now I'm going to adhere. I'm going to put the glue on this side this time. And I'll adhere it to the paper. Get that going. And then this is going to go like so. And I have a cute little flip there. To the, I'm going to flush with the bottom. Okay. I'm going to take this tape off. I'm going to flush with them. And there we go. Here's my flap. Save this paper. Ready? And this inside is going to get a belly band. And I just have to figure out how tall. I'm kind of doing this part before I um, glue it down. There's that.
tape it on the top and bottom. It's cute with the bird, but the bird's going the wrong way, so I can't use the bird. But it would have been cute. It would have been really cute. All right. That. There's that. And I want to get it centered as best as possible. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. There we go. Cute. This is an extra piece of paper, so I'll cut it like a tag. That can go in there. This is an extra piece of paper. Oh, I have this too. I forgot. Mm. No. I'm just putting extra pieces of paper that we have left over in here. Oh, yes. This we will use too. I'm going to put another word. Because these are all things that somebody can journal on if they want to, you know, or whatever they want, whatever they want to do. Let's get another word. Deck the halls. Here. But see, isn't this a great little project just to sit around and think of ideas of what, how you want it to go, which way you want it to flip, which way you want it to do this, do that. I, I think it's really cool. Come on. Come on. Deck the holes. And then I'm going to put this here. Let's see. I, and I'm just going to glue the center. I'm just going to put this like this. Now that is adorable. That is so sweet. I love it. I still have these papers to deal with. I think. And let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just get this in the book. Now, I'm going to do the Yoo-Hoo. It's actually sticking very nicely. And like I said, I've just never worked with it before. I actually really like it. And like I said, it does give like a little glossy sheen. I'm probably using way more than I have to, but because I haven't worked with it before and I want to, you know, make papers are heavy. The, the, Envelopes are heavy, you know, so I just want to make sure everything is uh, sticking properly. I also like that it gives you a little time to move it if you have to. I do. Thank goodness that it gives you time to move it. I was not far enough down on this edge here. There we 
go. There we go. Much better. This I have to skim off a little bit. I don't know what happened. This felt wonky. So I have to trim off a tiny bit of that bottom or else it's going to crinkle up when it hits that seam. And you should feel how heavy this gets, guys. <laughs> oh, I hate having to do this. I hate doing this. Okay. Hopefully that took it enough off. Yes, it did. I just didn't want it to get Hung, what is it getting hung up on now? It shouldn't be getting hung up on that. No. It's not. Nope. I am feeling like it might need a little... Hmm. I'm going to burnish it though. Only because I don't know... how this glue is. So I'm just burnishing it. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. Something. There we go. Wow, guys, this is something else. All right, now, I was thinking, maybe this says Merry Christmas. Hmm. It's, it's off, so it's, we're not going to be able to use that. I'm just using scraps. Could make a little booklet. Winter time. do this now winter time and go in the back let me see something You know, I don't know 
know about you guys, but for some reason it cuts better on my fiskers from top to bottom instead of the opposite way. It's very strange. If not, it gets, it gets like jaggedy on the bottom. And at first I thought it was because the blade, but I just replaced the blade. So I know it's not the blade. This in there too. And then these are just really tiny pieces, so I don't really think these pieces are gonna be needed. But I do want to put the little trim. So we have this and this. We have this pocket here. And I might put trim on a lot of this and then just use seam binding to hold it all together. Look at how cute this is, guys. Look at it. It's adorable. I had to get rid of that glue. I'll just keep messing with it until I don't feel it anymore. And then here we go. We have this. We have a pocket. And we have this, a belly band. And then the back. Adorable. Let's get some trim on this. And then we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day, guys. Uh, I wonder if... Let me see if I have that one Dollar Tree ribbon. Because I think it would be nice if I could find it. But if I can't, guys, we'll have to use something else. So don't get too excited yet. <laughs> I do have this white trim. Maybe this white trim. Hmm. This is a pretty trim too. Let's see. Let's see what we want to use. Let's see how it that's not real flat. Forget that trim. This trim. Hmm. That's a winner. Okay. Uh, should we use hot glue? I'm thinking we should use hot glue. I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking we should use hot glue. So let's get that ready. I know. I'm not prepared for class. This teacher is not prepared for class. I really didn't think I was going to be putting anything on it. But now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it needs it. it needs a little something something. So you know, you know we'll get there. <laughs> you know we'll do it. So now I'm going to plug in the glue gun. I'm going to be so happy when it's going to move my crafting space to downstairs in the basement. It's going to be so nice. But for right now, I just have to work with what I have to work with. And that's it. Let me have a sip of my tea while we're talking. Oh my gosh, we're almost two hours. But when you think about it, two hours for this project really isn't that long. I mean, if you really think about it, this is a pretty big project. We still have a couple, have a couple words left. Not many. But I do have a couple. I could put... Dear Santa on there while I'm waiting or yeah why not why not while we're waiting just kind of fill in with some tags Oh, 
I should have put it on the actual Dear Santa. Oh, that's all right. Cute. Yeah, I am going to deck this. I'm going to just trim this out, guys. I'm going to really... Now, here's my lone paper from Mente. I'm fitting this. Yep. So sad to see it go. <laughs> I am. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Maybe put gingerbread on that one. I'm using all my all my stickers. Gingerbread. No, I don't think so. I think I'll pass on that one. All right, let's see. How's the glue? How's the glue coming? Not yet. Not yet. Mm, yep, I see I have this little strip too. But don't worry. Don't worry about it because you know. Now we have this six by six pad to do something with. That would be fun. Let's see that sheet. Where did my typewriter go? I was thinking of putting strips. And I think I will just to jazz it up because it's so, um, so monotone. And put some strips just to give it a little. A little something. Hmm, okay. Um, how far up I gotta go there? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Just to add a little something. Because it's just really not that colorful, but I love the typewriter. Absolutely love it. My daughter wants one of those kind of typewriters, like an old-fashioned typewriter. I have yet to find one for her, but I know I will. Okay, so here we go. Here we go with let the the altered file folder trimming begin. So I'm a little bit out of time. This is so pretty. Do you know I got this at like I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx? Isn't that a weird place to find this? But they had them one year for Christmas. Like in by the all the Christmas wrap, and I thought, oh, that's so cute. I should be using fabric scissors. Let's switch to fabric scissors because that was not good. Hmm. And I'll fix this edge up. All right. So then maybe we'll put this up here. Why not? Cute.
And then maybe over here. Kind of like that. Well, I'm just moving this so that it I can see guys. So if you can't see, I'm sorry. I will show you at the end where I put it, but it's so hard to maneuver this big piece. Pad of scissors, where are you? Let's not make that mistake again. There we go. Okay. So that. Oh, yeah. This is really kicking it up a notch. Hmm. Does it say? Oh, Marshalls. It was Marshalls. I think I'm going to put it on the top. And the bottom of this one. I like it because it's nice and, you know, Christmassy. And it's got a little bit of sparkle in it. I don't know what I was thinking. Putting that glue all the way down. Strip. Woo! That worked fast on that one. There we go. I'm just put a little dab of glue here just to keep it. I don't know where my little glue pusher downer. My glue pusher downer. Does everybody have a glue pusher downer? I do. I don't know where it is right now, but I don't want to use my finger for it, that's for sure. And I'm just thinking, should I put it on the top too? Oh, it might get in the way. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get in the way. So maybe we put it here. Yeah, we could do that. There I go, guys. <laughs> I think the next project is gonna be smaller. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so much fun though, isn't it? Happy I found this trim. I like it. It kind of goes with it, you know. Making sure no glue went under. I didn't think it did, but you never know. There we go. Okay. All right. You know we have to put it on this. And I'm probably going to put it on her too. Isn't that so cool? Let me take her out to do her so I don't get it on the, I don't want to get it on anything, but she needs it. She needs her own. And then I got to put some on the Santa. Okay, so she got some, and then, let's just 
line out the back. I'll fix that in a minute. I want to put some on this edge of the Santa. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Put that on him. I don't need it on the belly band. Oh, I could put a word here. What do I have left? Ho, ho, ho. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect for our stance of page, isn't it? How cool. And then we'll do a final flip through in a minute. Two hours. Wow. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. And I'm not even jibber jabbering too much. There we go. All right, we need, this was in the back here. I feel like that needs, hmm, hold on, guys, I think I, before I do the glue, what do I got left here? Hmm. You know how I love to do my little punches, but I don't know if I have enough. Is that big enough for that? No. Is this big enough for that? Barely. But it will work. I love these punches that fold up. I just think they are so cool. I love that they do that. And let's see, we got I have Holiday Delight, Gingerbread, maybe we'll use the Gingerbread, and I'm just going to use hot glue for this, I'm going to use hot glue for this too. But just put that there. Yeah. There we go. Adds a little color. It's looking a little washed out back there. And we don't have much stuff of color left. <laughs> we don't really have much. <laughs> of anything left. We have a few strips of paper. That's it. All right. This is going to go here. Get in there. Oh, I'm running out of glue. I've got to put a new glue stick in.
Ready. Very pretty. Now let me see. I do have this red. Maybe just to add. Because you can't really tell what it is. So maybe just to add some color to the top of that paper. Because it's just so. So. Uh, bland. I could use that one. Just to give it a little color. A little more color. I mean, this is like kind of tone on tone, but it's pretty. There. There we go. Okay. And then I think some tags blew out when I was... Or did I not use these? I might not have used these. Now, what was in here? I forget. <laughs> I meant those tags were in there, but then I guess there was a bigger piece of something in there. How did I cut it out? Throw it on the floor. Huh. Where did it go? Let me see. I'm going to put it somewhere else. No. Was it this? No. Hmm. I thought I had a bigger piece of something in there. I know I did. But where did I put it? It's not over here, is it? No. Hmm. That's strange. It didn't fall in there, did it? No. I know I had a big... Maybe it was this piece. I think it was. And then we put these in, tuck those two in. What happened there? I think that's what it was that was in there. Well, now I'm now I'm really not sure. I know I had these two guys in here. Well, I think that will just be how it will be. Put those two there. And let me cut it falling. Okay, so here we go. Final. That's it's a scrap. All right. I have this little Christmas tree too. Well, maybe we'll find a place for it. Maybe we'll just stick it in there. Okay, so we have our flip here that opens down and we have a side pocket a regular pocket and we left this alone and I like that we left this alone you might want to add something there but I like that we left that alone um I have another one of these I'm trying to use all my words maybe I'll put it right there I know guys I know we're getting done we are really, we're, we're done. I just want to put this there. <laughs> we're done. I promise. I promise. Mm. 
I just wanted to use these words up. Okay, so holiday delights. Okay, so we have a side pocket, a top loading pocket. And we open this down and we have a flip. We have another big pocket with some journaling cards inside and an I Believe in Santa. And then the next page we have a flip and a pocket. And this last page we have a flip and a belly band. And then the back we have all little journaling spots. And I do want to just trim this because I saw it on the other side. There we go. So there you have it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now you could if you wanted to, and I might, because I love seam binding, I might take, let me say, give me a big strip. I'm not measuring this guy, so I just know I need a big strip and two pieces. And I thought maybe I would tie it in a bow. To keep it all together. And I love this. If this is fig or beige, I believe it's fig. Or it might say beige on the website. That's the color. It's a really great color. It goes with all our stuff. And there you have it. So sweet. I love it. There you go. So there's our altered file folder using Stamperia Romantic Christmas. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was long, but I hope it was worth it. And I would love to see what you guys make. So please post it in the Crafting on a Budget um, Facebook group because I would love to see what you guys are making. And until the next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.